So the spiritual overlay is a concept I came up with um, to think of the building more as a kind of spiritual technology. What does it mean when architecture is embodied? So I came up with this idea and this journey that audience members can take through all the galleries, starting in east, to the south, to the west, to the north, and go through this type of transformation. And so we start with time of change, we go time to understand, time for inner knowledge, and we end with time to transmit wisdom. Uh, so the time for inner knowledge, the idea is to create a safe, kind of healing community space, but it's based on indigenous traditional knowledge. So I've designed this idea of a kind of modernist display structure, which is also based on indigenous design. So things like sweat lodges. And so the idea is we're gonna have different um, activities happening in here. So for example, I'll be doing a shamanic performance with um, local pregnant women who, and the idea is called labor, birth of a new museum and we'll be working towards this idea of what does it mean to give birth to new audiences. So in the womb, if our audience is already open to new concepts about art. The piece is called The Temple and the idea was, to, as I said, to look at traditional architecture. So I looked at also African design, African adobe houses, and I also thought about memories of my grandmother and her house in Kenya, in rural Kenya, that I would visit as a child. And then I thought about different types of architecture, like sweat lodges that I visited, like First Nations sweat lodges in Vancouver, and I kind of wanted to bring that together. I work with Olivia Aho, the curator from Nottingham Contemporary, and also Setworks, a design company in London, to come up with the final design. Well, I worked closer with the Nottingham Contemporary team to think about the kind of loans that we'd be able to get, uh, especially in the fact that we were working during a pandemic um, doing this show. We started the show over two years ago, and to be able to source loans only from the UK became like a very interesting part of the project. So one of the things that we wanted to work with is how to get loans from the local museum collections. So we ended up with this like beautiful love jug and this bear jug uh, to be part of the um, loan collection. And also then we worked a lot, we tried to get Annie Albert, uh, Andrea Zittel as well. And we got some really beautiful tapestries from Adam Bletchley. And then next to that, we had some really amazing Elizabeth Wilds. And so all together, the idea is that this, it feels like a museum, but it also feels like a temple, and it also feels like a relaxing kind of domestic space in which people can live and be together. Along with some historic ceramics, we have some lovely contemporary works by Chiara Kimoli.